Hey guys, what's up? This is episode two of our adventures in the world of X3. So I was able to drag this uh, pain in the ass ship, the Sentinel, all the way to Argon Prime. Um, it was it was quite a journey to say the least, but we did it. And when I got to the station. Disappointingly enough, it was only worth like 50 some thousand credits, maybe about 60. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to end up selling the Buster first and buying a Mercury. The Buster is worth quite a bit more, as you can see, it's like 281,000 credits there, which is more than enough Ages to buy a Mercury. On this factory. Please. Resources are not sold. And here we go. Oh, oh. All right, there we go. So, yeah. Buster sold. So there we go. We sold the Buster. Uh, buy ourselves Mercury. I'm just going to get the S class. I think these. Well, I can't buy them anyway. But products are not. Bought. They are really just. Uh, Mercury is the latest addition to the Argon Basically. More or less, they just come with more amenities. We can actually put all that stuff in the ship as we go on. So, and in fact, we'll get that option to do that after we purchase the vessel. So, see, we have that. We hit OK. And it'll give us the option to buy a few things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the engine tuned up that's a must this service is a time limited special engine tuning that way we'll be going Install. full speed uh... i think i left the boost extension in the other ship we also need the special command software for mining special command software mark one installed and we want the singularity thing in the jiggy. Singularity engine time accelerator installed. And uh well it looks like that's about it. Yeah. I think we're good here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dock this sucker, this I'm going to drop a few pieces of equipment on it. Driver. And Each I will be back to decide uh, what we'll do after that. Maybe we'll do a little mining or something. All right, so I really improved the ship quite a bit. I equipped all the shields that I had on my old ship, which was the Buster and the Harrier. Let's get the time sped up a little bit. And I also put... Oh, well, that didn't work out. I also put an alpha particle accelerator cannon on the turret of the ship. This ship doesn't have uh, forward mounted guns like the other two had. It has a turret which is mounted on the back. And it's really just defensive. Uh, but we can use it to break up the rocks for mining, so that will be helpful. We also have special command software which we will use to command the ship to gather ore. I was actually hoping to just kind of leave the ship in the site and uh, have my other Mercury do some trading, but unfortunately I can't buy another Mercury right now, so uh, we're going to have to go that route. I did sell the Harrier as well, I don't know if I mentioned that, I only got like 70 grand for it, it's not very good, uh, it wasn't really worth it aside from the shields <laughs> and I think maybe the cannons. But uh, you live, you learn. Um, Flight Command software, that can actually automate your turret. Uh, you can go into commands and set it to defend the ship. Uh, it's not going really to shoot any pirates down, but it will at least stop some missiles and maybe give me time to escape. Of course, Duplex Scanner, this is an ore collector. Um, it will, I guess, suck in ore. <laughs> I'm not really sure how it works. We'll have to find out. And of course, boost extension. That makes you accelerate faster. And we know what the singularity thing is. And the video enhancement goggles, which 
I probably haven't displayed yet, demonstrated yet. Let me just do that. Uh, there's nothing too great about them. So I'm going to fly out to our new home base, which is Three Worlds, and get to work. Well, let's test this mining out a bit. I'm going to switch to my turret. And I may have to get a bit closer to one of these rocks to actually blast it. But I'm going to use it to blast the rock apart into some smaller rocks. Now, it's important to note that this game does differentiate between asteroids and rocks. A uh, rock is just, uh, you know, big kind of boulder shaped thing. There we go. So we blew that apart. Asteroids are essentially the same, but much, much bigger. Not really sure if it matters much, actually, but uh, you can put a mine on an asteroid. You can't really do that with a rock. <laughs> this is really slow work. There we go. Uh, I'm not really sure how small they actually have to be to collect with the ship. I'm also not sure if we can get the ship to collect it on its own with that special equipment. We'll find all that out. It's a good thing we got the alpha <laughs> impulse emitter or whatever the hell it's called and not the beta ray. Um, I don't know if I, I don't remember if I said this before, but I went through quite a bit trying to figure that out, what those actually did. And I had to look them up. And I'm not even sure if the info is accurate. A lot of the info on this game seems to be a little bad. We're running out of energy. Your ship only has enough generator charge to fire the weapons so much. So we can see what it looks like. And uh, it's really kind of just a big space bus, actually. We'll go into commands. And we'll see if we can get this thing to collect rocks for us. There we go. Special commands. Collect wares. Collect, collect rocks. Right, we want you to collect rocks in three worlds. Autopilot activated. Oh, well, looks like it's getting to work. Now, my hopes were to have the um have a second mercury and have this one just go around collect rocks and make us some money from ore which we could go sell and have the second mercury run from station to station uh, buying things cheaply and selling them for more money unfortunately things didn't pan out that way the harrier was next to worthless and uh i had to just buy this one Mercury, but at least we were able to get it outfitted with everything we wanted, and we can start making money doing this. So I'll let it do its thing for a minute or two, and uh, then I'm going to basically do mining Cargo bay now <laughs> for, ore. for quite some time. I hope this thing doesn't crash. Cargo bay now oh, oh. Ore. That's pretty cool, actually. I guess the ore collector allows you to pick things up without lowering your shields. Um, that is one thing about this game. If you want to grab items, you have to lower your shields to grab the items. It's pretty crazy stuff. And, um, you know, that means you're uh, exposed to any kind of damage your hull could possibly take. And let's see how our freight's looking. We have uh, this very tiny bit of ore. Cargo bay now contains ore. So I'm going to let this ship do its thing. So I did have an accident while collecting rocks. I decided it might be fun to try to collect them manually. Unfortunately, I didn't do it right. 
and I ended up crashing into one Attention. Lock and bay. Uh, pretty Five. full speed closing for and um, you know, damaging my hole quite a bit. Uh, fortunately, it's not too bad to get it repaired. It's only 1,800 credits, so we're going to do that. If it won't let us. There we go. Oh. That's per... per oh my god. So it's going to cost us all of our money to get this ship repaired. That's just great. Um... Well, it's repaired now, though. Supposedly there's a repair laser on your suit. I couldn't find it. Well, you live, you learn. So next time I go jaunting around trying to collect rocks, I'll remember this and maybe try to do things a little laser differently. Power factory. Alpha. We do have some ore. So I'll sell some of that, hopefully we'll have a buyer here, and I'll get lucky and make some money, or make some of it back. Now this is no big deal really, because there's so much ore out there that I'm sure I'll make some of that money back pretty quickly, but that's something you have to look out for. At least we have the money to get this thing fixed. Uh, if you damage your ship, you can either lose some of the equipment on it, and it will also Successfully slow down. On behalf of our president which is and pretty senator, interesting. the Argon Federation welcomes oh, friends oh. aboard. Connection to local. So it looks like we can get quite started. a bit of money for we're selling it here. Or so that helps um, negate some of the problems we have here. And I'm going to get back to work. I have a hold full of ore now. I also went out and bought a mineral scanner. I don't really know if it helps. I don't think it does. Supposedly you get a new command when you get it. That should allow you to mine minerals, but... I don't have it, so I don't know what that's all about. Uh, maybe that's something later down the road. But anyway, I have a ton of ore, and I'm going to fly into Boron space. That's the whole reason why I'm at Three Worlds here, and sell them some ore. And hopefully get my rep up with them a little bit, and make a little bit of money. And we'll see how that goes. We fly out to the gate here. So this game really, really has... Um, it's really not at all user-friendly. And there's just so much about it that's just not explained well at all. Uh, either in the manual or within the game. And uh, even like wikis and stuff disagree. And that might be because there's several versions Entering system. of the game. Including stuff like, uh, I think there's Albion Prelude and Terran Conflict, aside from this version, which was the first version. So, I think a lot of things tend to get confused that might not otherwise. So there seems to be a lot of ore in this particular part of Boron Space. Hopefully, uh, they actually need ore in their stations, we'll see. Successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local oh, they don't need network at all for this stuff. Um, Energy what cells both are the is. Okay. On dock. Different factories do need different things to create their wares. I think that was the crystal factory. The satellite factory will almost Abound certainly be If we can get over there. There we go. 
speed up a little bit. Of course, there's a lot of it takes a lot of time to do anything. This mining or co collecting rocks or mining asteroids or whatever you want to call it. It's a uh, it's a sort of process you can kind of walk away from, even though the autopilot will sometimes crash. But if you clear the field well enough, um, break up all the big rocks, you should be safe. Unfortunately, I don't have a fighter to do that with, so it's a very tedious process with this thing. Uh, but you know that's life. Eventually, as we keep building up our fleet be able to do stuff like that and be able to clear those things out really efficiently and do some real trading. Successfully docked. Maybe get back we on to the kingdom of story. Bond, bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Well, oh, this is <laughs> and they don't use ore here either. Oh. This is a learning experience for sure. I thought satellite factories did use it though. Um, this might be because things are a little bit different for the boron. Um, I'm not really sure actually. Biogas factory M Delta. We'll, we'll head for this thing. I don't know what biogas is. <laughs> Doesn't sound good at all. Biogas factory M beta. We may have to go to a different part of Boron space to actually trade this stuff. Autopilot off. Let's see if we can find any other space stations around here. This is pretty densely packed territory, so I imagine we will be able to do so. Hopefully. Biogas factory M Alpha. Well, there's a computer plant over here. Maybe they need it. Always hope. Oh, that's odd. There we go. Didn't seem to want to cooperate. And if they don't want our stuff, we can always go to the next system over, which probably will. Oh, something exploded. It wasn't us, so... All's well. Of course, we got to wait for this thing to dock. You can also get docking computers, supposedly, which should speed up the process, according to the wiki. We Atreus and the Kingdom of Bond there we go. Bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. And that's a good price. Connection to local trading network established. Or sold. Oh, well, that was well worth it. Hopefully, if we keep doing that, Boron will trust us a little more. And before I um, finish this portion of the video, I do want to go to the shipyard here. Command rejected. If the game will let me. There we go. One of the things we'll want as time progresses and our operation gets bigger it is a bigger hauler and there is a class up from this we'll need it to lug around space stations and stuff like that 
They're also good for transporting uh, large amounts of wares, which is you know good for trading in general. It could put the Mercuries to work on mining. And, uh, we sent your ship. Did not find <laughs> any illegal goods aboard. Oh, here we go. There's a bill. Thanks for your cooperation. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, we can put it to good use at any rate. I tend to like the Boron ships, the, uh, the uh, Super Freighter at least, I don't know about their other ships, because it seems to have a good balance of capacity, speed, defense, and uh, several hangars, a good number of them for other ships. Of course the uh, wiki I was looking at seems to be a little off, um, so None of them really seem to get much right. But <laughs> we'll, we'll have to that find out what the deal does. with that is. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome. We might as well just fix our ship up to local trading network established. There we go. Maybe they'll like me a little bit more. I think it's the Orca. Yep. That's it. So it's quite big. Uh, it's actually rather fast for its size. It has a 110 meters per second. Yeah, it's meters. Which isn't too bad. 50,000 units of uh, space there. Four turrets. And it can field all those different things. And it doesn't really say anything about hangers. I do know these are supposed to have... Oh yeah, 10 ship hangar. And it can carry up to station containers. So that's really great stuff. And that is our um, major goal. We the do want a small fleet is a heavy duty. for uh, such a thing, however. So we're going to have to work our way up to that. Because you do want... Uh, fighters that are able to fly cover for it. Alright, well, that is about it for this episode. Um, it's been a rough start with trying to make money, that's for sure. But it's also been very interesting. And hopefully we're getting off to a good start. In the next episode, I'll have a lot more money. I'm going to do a lot of mining. And maybe another Mercury ship and we'll probably be on our way to buying a few cover fighters as well. So I will see you guys next time and until then, good luck and happy gaming.